Hello and welcome back to another market update. My name is Riley Rhodes with Team CR Realty. Today is August 9th, 2022. And before we jump into inventory levels, if you like these videos, if you find them informational, go ahead, like, and subscribe. Comment down below if you have any questions at all. Inventory this week is up again, but the trend now is the percentage gain per week is actually going down every week for about the past four to six weeks or so. We're sitting at 18,242 active listings on the market as of right now, and this is compared to last week's 17,773 um, active listings. Mortgage rates have trended upward for the past week since we saw them dip into the high fours for just a short time period. Um, right now they're sitting about five and a half so or so currently and we'll continue to see this most likely throughout the rest of the year. There are quite a few predictions out there about interest rates and where they think and where people think that they'll go. Uh, some are predicting around, you know, almost 7%. I think personally we're going to see, you know, Maybe it go back into the low sixes, but I think we should hover around five and a half to sixes, um, kind of like what I was saying. Home cancellations have been news as of lately as some home builders are saying highest rate of home cancellations since 2019. This is funny to talk about because obviously we just went through one of the craziest times in home price increases ever like in history um, and that is what we're comparing things to. So the media is freaking out because these numbers that are being compared to are from last year when things are going absolutely crazy at this time. 2019, the number the article was comparing D.H. Horton's numbers of cancellations relations to was a much more stable and normal market. So it's just interesting to me to kind of see the, the comparison and the news cycle. You know, it's obviously news the news cycle wants clicks. They want people to click on their articles, so they're trying to get, you know, these these huge titles and saying, oh, you know, we haven't seen these numbers since 2019 yet. 2019 was a very healthy market. If you go back and look at the CMI, you go back and look at the supply and demand, it was very healthy. Um, and then the 2020, 2021 kind of is when it became a very heavy uh, weighted seller's market. So that's just kind of what's funny to me. What is happening though is we're entering a neutral market for the first time in a while, and that's that's almost for the entirety of Arizona's market in general. Um, some markets already are at neutral or a buyer's market. Um, here are the top 17 cities in Arizona to take a look at. You can see that there's only six cities that aren't neutral or a buyer's market, but I think we'll continue to see that trend as long as interest rates kind of stay where they're at, stay high, um, and stay kind of out of reach of affordability of many. One thing I want to point out though is that we're going into a time where buyers are going to be favored in the transaction, and this is crazy to think about. People People are thinking this is not a good time to buy, but buyers are, when it's a buyer's market, buyers are favored in the transaction. What I'm hearing practically from most people out there right now is people don't want to buy because it's an uncertain time, which is totally understandable. Well, I think as long as we're at this point of where it seems to be uncertain, some sellers are panicking because of that, and this is a good thing for buyers. What I've seen recently in transactions is seller paid closing costs or credits to the buyer. The buyer can use that credit, go buy down their rates some, they go to their lender and say, hey, here's you know a $20,000 credit the seller gave me, I wanna buy down my rate, and you can buy down you know a point, a point and a half, um, making their interest payment you know closer to 4% rather than five and a half, and also letting the buyer uh, come to the closing table with very little out of pocket. If you're a potential buyer, you don't actually have to have a lot of capital right now to come to the closing table and actually buy a house. Um, now is actually a great time to buy rather than later because the seller can pay a lot of your cl closing costs. Our lender friend um, of our team, Ashley McPoland, she was telling Clay and I about one of her clients that had just come to the closing table and she paid $1,400 out of pocket for, for buying a house. And that, that is absolutely unheard of 12 months or even six months ago. And so this is why, you know, this market really favors buyers is because you can go to the seller and say, you know, I instead of coming way down on your price, what I'm what I need you to do is I need you to just, you know, give me a, a concession or give me a credit, and that will allow you to have, you know, less out of pocket uh, um, at the close, at close, 
and kind of favors you um, in general. Now onto the Cromford Report, where we have seen an incredibly fast decline in the Cromford Report CMI number or the Cromford Market Index number. If we zoom in a bit, you can see that we um, are just above balance for the entire state. The CMI currently is at 116.8, which reflects that in the chart, just being above neutral. Um, this is down from a 123.5 last week. And again, what that 123.5 or that 116.8 number is, it basically means 1.168 buyers for every uh, listing out there. That's what that means. The supply meter is up and the demand meter is down. So just kind of more of what we've been seeing. Again, this is reflecting a time where, where we're in a market that will favor a buyer more than the sellers, especially when the sellers were used to an entirely different market. Six months ago, I just saw a listing yesterday that was listed originally at 799 and it's listed now at 689. So these sellers are having unrealistic expectations with their homes because of what they saw in the past couple of years and their they're really getting a reality check and that doesn't mean that prices are crashing right now it just means that people aren't really um pricing their house correctly and not with a team that knows you know the market and knows how to get this house sold uh, here's a list of cities with the most monthly supply compared to where they were last year so paradise valley is um, they have a number at 10.2 months of supply so if no more houses were listed uh, in Paradise Valley, they'd have 10.2 months um, worth of supply that they can go to before they have nothing on the market. Um, and that's, you know, Paradise Valley, it's number one. So that's the, the largest supply number. And we can go to cities near me in the East Valley. Gilbert was at 0 0.9 months of supply last year at this time. Now we're at 3.3. Chandler was at one, now at 3.3. Three, Tempe was at 1.1, now at 3.2. So we have much more supply now than we did before. The question is, how do you take advantage of that? Go ahead, give me a ring. If you're in the market to buy, I'm more than happy to walk you through the, the transaction process and, and help you understand how to take advantage of this market that we're in currently right now. My own clients are still a bit stagnant. I have had a few inquiries on possibly wanting to buy as you know, where people are seeing nice nicer houses come to market and then staying on the market and have a good price. I myself kind of selfishly looking here and there, seeing you know what houses are out there for my wife and I, but you know, I'm not in a position where I, you know, we need to upgrade or anything. We bought this house just over a year ago and we're kind of happy with it. So, you know, I'm always, I'm always on the hunt. I'm looking for other people. So I, I might as well look for myself every now and then. Um, but again, it's just about educating my cl current clients and also potential buyers on the creative ways to get their interest rates down and how they can bring less money to the closing table. Like I said earlier in this video, many are convinced to not buy right now. I just had a conversation with someone who was kind of advising another one of uh, my friends and saying like, Hey, you know, I wouldn't buy if I were you right now. Um, yet what market leaders of this, um, information, you know, gathering information and kind of going through it and having the statistics to, to back up what they're saying. What they're saying is real estate prices are going to continue to go up in the long term. So like in a year from now, two years from now, they're going to be higher than they are than right now. And also interest rates are going to continue to go up slow, slower than they were. But the Fed still needs to uh, curb inflation, get a hold of inflation. And just because we're seeing some prices come down doesn't mean inflation is done with or over with. The Fed needs to still um, battle inflation. How they do that is they're using interest rates, right? So if you ever want to get into the market, the best time was 30 years ago, right? The second best time is today. Time in the market will always be trying to time the market. That's just a saying that I've heard um, going through you know, my career and a saying that I love myself. But that's it for today's market update. If you enjoyed the video, if you liked it, hit that like button, subscribe if you aren't already, comment your thoughts down below. As always, my name is Riley Rhodes with Team CR Realty, where Arizona real estate is seen.